everyone, welcome to our channel and welcome to another luxury house tour. So you may have recently watched the property tour we did next door of a house at two million pounds. And today we're gonna to be showing you this one behind me, which is priced at 1.35 million pounds. It's a brand new home finished in 2021. And it's on the market with dual agency, Fine and Country and Strutton Parker. All their details will be in the description below. In terms of specs, you've got four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it's just over 2,100 square foot. And in terms of area, we're actually only 500 meters away from a huge sandy beach. And then we're also in the area of West Wittering here in the south of the UK. But I'll pop a map on the screen so you can see our exact location. At the exterior of this property, first of all, you've got an electric gate. So super private and then you've got a fully alarmed system as well. Let me take you over here, Summer, and I'll just show you the main entrance. Um, you've got a really nice, quiet entrance here, obviously just for the two properties, which are both brand new. Then you've got the electric garage here and easily off-road parking for four cars or perhaps three cars and a boat, obviously as we are super close to the sea. Or a jet ski. A jet ski, yeah, maybe a few jet skis in the garage. Lots of ideas. All right, let's go check it out. So before we carry on the tour, let's pop the floor plan on screen so you can get your bearings of the layout. We've got three floors and actually to take the advantage of all the views, you've got the living accommodation on the first floor. So let's check that out first up these stairs. Now the main living space is through here. It is open plan and obviously we've got it furnished at the moment so you can see what kind of layout you could have. So over here, we've got the double height vaulted ceiling of course, in a house like this, you could create more accommodation up there, but they wanted to give it that wow factor and just make this overall space a nice area to be. We then got the more so log burner here. Um, check that out, you can see lovely detail. How cool would that be on a nice winter's night um, where you've perhaps got the rain coming in through these big windows, really chill. So yeah, over here, two big um, seating sofas, as you can see, with views all around, um, views towards the beach that way, across West Wittering and the, the South Downs, um, and some lovely fields, so you know that they're farmer's fields, not gonna be built on, so very private. Now over here, we've got a eight-seater dining table, um, again, demonstrating that you have comfortable space to walk all around it, and from this area, this is gonna be the best seat for me, head of the table, view straight out there, but pretty much all round, you've got a great view. Just to point out as well, you've got the intercom um, button here to open the gate, and you'll also have one of those on the ground floor as well. While we're over here, I'll demonstrate this, because this is a fire door, fire safety door, so you can close that. You can see, look, that's a lot wider than a normal door. But then the great thing is, if you open it up, which you will have most of the time, um, because the wall is set back here, it almost gives the appearance of it just being completely flush, blended into the wall, so that's quite cool. Over here we've got the kitchen, it's a German kitchen by Leicht. I'll pop their brand on the screen so you can check them out. Um, we've got bar stools over there, so three bar stools, nice space to just chill, and then a really nice cooking kitchen. So good layout, um, actually you've got the sink nice and set in here. Summer, what were the worktops? Do you remember the name? These worktops were called Fenex. Fenex, yeah, so special material, um, well remembered, very durable, scratch resistant, and quite a, a new thing, um, but they work really well with this German kitchen. And then from the sink area, you can, you can like use that while looking straight out onto the view. We've then got Bosch appliances throughout, so you've got five ring induction hob over here. And then you've got dual ovens, so exactly the same, just two ovens just there. Let me show you, again, just to give a bit of pop to the kitchen, um, we've got Venetian polished plaster done by a gentleman from Bournemouth. Gives it that earthy tone, nice green. It very much suits the environment. And they've added these kind of cabinet tree areas to put your, you know, um, cup of teas, not cup of teas, what are they called? Um, Cups. Yeah, glasses, special uh, cutlery and... Just to break up the kind of kitchen units as it's quite, it's a matte finish. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the full height fridge and freezer. I love that they've put a full height one in. Yeah, even in a kitchen, you know, like this, I think it's so important to have all of that space. And here's a look at what it 
the room looks like from your kitchen. Shall we head out to the terrace? Yeah, come on through. Now these doors, I'll just show you these. So they're very easy to use. You literally pull them in and slide the handle shut, completely quiet, or you can open them up and slide across. Very easy to do and walk out. How about that for a view here, guys? So literally all the way around the property, panoramic, <laughs> not very good at saying that word. Panoramic? Panoramic views, exactly that summer. Um, and then we've got this quite cute flower garden here where you're gonna find lots of bees, um, little birds chirping away, it just adds to the, bringing that nature into the home. So here's a look how long the terrace is. And that's the other house that we toured and then, then your garden down there. I love that over here they've put a staircase so you can quickly go from outside to the open plan area without having to go down the main stairs through the front door and everything. So that's, that's a really nice idea. And then exterior wise, again, I pointed this out on the other tour, but you've got all the guttering and everything built in and hidden away um, through there. So a nice little touch to make it private. Come back in. And were these cedar shingles? Yes, see, oh, yeah, cedar shingles, I think, yeah the cladding. That's a cool place. So then from here again, if you're remembering from the floor plan, opposite here is um, like a guest guest toilet, somewhere to use. Nice use of the understair space, but still full height, very usable toilet and basin over there. Okay, so layout wise then, we've got most of the bedrooms on the ground floor, um, but there's actually a really cool room up here. Um, so we'll check that one out first. Let's go. Now upstairs, you guys can choose and perhaps let us know in the comments what you would use this room for. Would you have it as a main bedroom? Maybe you need to see the other rooms to be able to decide that. Um, someone said perhaps a yoga studio. Obviously you could have a study up here. The reason for that is because you're just gonna capture the amazing views and you've got quite a few Velux windows throughout that are all remote controlled. And they did this instead of putting a balcony in. Um, because it allows you to still use the maximum amount of room in the actual bedroom without having the doors set back over there. Um, but yeah, you can stand out here, feel a nice breeze coming across. So nice. And then we've got an ensuite in this bedroom. Yeah, so the ensuite's just through there, as you can see. So walk-in shower, porcelain tiles, mirror at the back. A nice relics window for some light and then your basin and toilet here. And the Velux windows have the automatic feature, so if there is some rain outside, they will close on their own. You don't have to rush around closing them all, if anyone was wondering. Yeah. Then wardrobe wise, there. there is a little closet here, but as it's probably gonna be a second home for someone, they didn't want to put too much in. So you could definitely wardrobe that back area. Yeah. Or put a chest of drawers here, but they kind of just left it up to what the buyer yeah. considered. Yeah, let you make your choice. But yeah, okay, still lots more to see. Let's head back down to the ground floor and we'll show you all the other bedrooms. All right, on the ground floor, come on over. We've got a utility down here um, for those days where you can come straight in from the garage, maybe from surfing, canoeing, sailing at the beach, and you know, just chuck all your stuff in the wash or whatever. Privacy window there and obviously loads of storage all around. In terms of heating, there's underfloor heating on the ground and first floor and radiators on the top floor. Yeah, and that's via a air source heat pump, which is just outside. Now, this is the family bathroom. Favorite part for me is just the sheer size of this room. Um, I think it's a really ideal wet room as well for like coming in sandy from the beach. It's very easy to keep clean, something like this. Um, a huge shower area. You've got some nice ambient lighting throughout here so you can very much control whether you want all the lighting on. And we actually talked about this in the other house, but there's um, 3000 Kelvin lighting throughout, which is the closest to daylight. And it's really important when you're designing a home um, to obviously make the lighting as best as possible. And there's right? two settings in here. So if you're having a bath and you don't want all the lights on, there's like an ambient setting. Yeah, so. Let me just turn around. It's basically, you've got these two on and then this one. And then here's the sink, the basin. And then finally in there, you have got a big window and also the extractor as well for fresh air. 
Okay, let's check out the bedroom. So this one through here is probably gonna be either the principal bedroom or the one on the very top floor would be because it's um, the, the biggest in size. So yeah, got this big bedroom area over here, built-in sliding wardrobes. If I show you what they look like, you've got hanging rail and lots of space. You could even do another rail down there. Then over here, we've got the ensuite. I think I would choose this one as my bedroom. Yeah, I would too. I'd prefer to be on the ground floor, straight outside, and I'd have an office on the top floor. How cool is this? Nice big shower. And then if you turn around somewhere here, you can see the big doors. Love that all the rooms, instead of just having a window, you've actually got access outside, which is again, another benefit of having rooms on the ground floor. So these just open up, we'll go up to the garden after the other rooms. So here we go. This is um, a single room or a bunk room or something like that, even a study. And then again, access to outside. And then the next room is through here. So you could very easily have a double bed here where you've got the plug sockets either side facing the wardrobe area um, and then directly outside. How cute is that seating area with the outdoor fireplace? Nice. Great for bringing your friends over. Okay, so pretty much seen everywhere in the house. Let's now go check out the garden, check out the house from the back and I'll meet you out there. All right guys, you join us in the outside. Incredible sunny day, so check out the property from the back, you can see the cladding, the render, all the aluminium work at the top, and obviously the, the windows throughout. So it's amazing to look at, great architecture. And then this is the garden area. So super private, you've got this big hedge line over here. I actually love that there's palm trees. We said that in, in the other house as well. Yeah, there's some nice palm trees this one's in. got two. We've got one over there. And there. And one over at the back. Good vibes. And of course, you've got the fence line over here. Something I would do is perhaps plant some bamboo along there just to make it a little bit more private. Um, something very easy you can do, but obviously it's a new build. And then we've got the patio area here. And these are porcelain tiles for the patio. Yeah. Here, let's get a back view. So guys, if you've watched both of the videos, this one and this one, this one's 1.35 million and that one's 2 million. Which one are you going for? Yeah. I, I guess, I don't know. I guess obviously that's more expensive. Um, but you do get more, but I do really like this one too. Yeah, because I feel like that would be a nice live-in home. Yeah. And this one, second home. Yeah, equally, obviously, either of them would be super low. They're both luxury homes, so it'd be yeah. amazing to have um, either raw. So yeah, any more details again, like I mentioned, all of that will be in the description. The agents have got some amazing drone photos and good photography on these houses, so go check them out for some more. And yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next tour.